Hi everybody. So welcome back to this installation of the Sergeant at Arms and guess what this installation of the Sergeant at Arms is all about? The Mueller Report. Yes, yeah, so the Mueller Report has been released. He is finished with his investigation into collusion with the Russians during the 2016 campaign. A summary of the findings basically is there was no collusion between the Russians and the Trump campaign of 2016. This is something that I said they weren't gonna find any evidence of anyway. I knew that there was not gonna be any evidence of collusion because basically it was campaigning. And anybody who knows anything about campaigning knows campaigning is dirty. Um, and, and during campaigning, you pull every trick out of your bag that you can pull out. And that includes, if you know a Russian, who knows something dirty about one of your opponents, you call them in. Um, and that's pretty normal, that's pretty standard, and campaigns do all kinds of dirty things. I think where we have to draw the line is where the Russian government gets involved in affecting an election. That's where we have to draw the line, and I think at that point, the Trump administration, there, there was no way they were going to prove that the Russian government was involved with the Trump administration. The Russian government could have been working on their own, which they probably were. There was evidence that they work, were working on their own to influence the 2016 election in Donald Trump's favor. Regardless, that's something that, you know, will, will be an ongoing issue with Russia because we have such problems with them anyway. That'll be ongoing and we'll see what happens from there. In the meantime, back to Mr. President Trump, no collusion. Fine. Didn't think that was an issue. However, Robert Mueller stopped short of saying he committed obstruction of justice. He basically said, I'm going to leave it to Congress to decide whether it was, whether what he did, what his actions were, rise to the level of obstruction of justice. I think I agree with that. Um, because again, you know, we, we run into the issue of you can't indict a sitting president, which I think is wrong. As long as the president of the United States is a citizen of the United States, he or she should be bound by the laws of the United States of America, just like every other citizen. They're basically the first citizen in chief, but they're still a citizen who votes who has to abide by the laws, and I think it is inappropriate. I don't know who came up with that, and when they came up with that, that a sitting president can't be indicted. I'm, I'm against that, and I hope that gets changed. In the meantime, there's still the issue of, did President Trump actually commit a crime? So apparently in the report, it has been revealed that he gave direction to one of his subordinates to fire Robert Mueller. That subordinate refused. So then you have to ask the question, what was his intent? His intent was to fire Mueller to stand in the way of this investigation or put an end to this investigation. The law is based on intent. And so if that was his intent, and if his direct report had followed through on that, that would have been absolutely obstruction of justice. But you have to ask the question, his intent was to have Mueller fired. And the law is based on intent. So this is where Congress has to do a full investigation into the issue of obstruction of justice. Because my thought is, yes, that's, that's obstruction of justice. Because uh, that was his intent. The second part of that becomes the impeachment question, which, you know, um, but Bill Clinton was impeached, but he didn't resign. So Donald Trump, Trump could get impeached, but not resign. He won't resign. He would not, if he got impeached, he would not resign he, because that's just who he is. And two, he'll say, well, Bill Clinton didn't resign, so I'm not going to either. So I think it would just be a, another waste of taxpayer dollars. I think the Mueller investigation was a good use of taxpayer dollars because I think it, what it revealed was that Russia is not an ally. It revealed that and it revealed, revealed that we need to really pay attention to what's going on with them and there's and there's cyber spying. So for that, I think it's great. The Trump part of it, I think President Trump should have just let it play itself out and he wouldn't look like he has egg on his face. I feel like he looks like he has egg on his face um, because he and all of his other people are, are saying, oh, we're vindicated, we're vindicated, but I don't, I don't see where this is a vindication. Um, 
I, it looks more like a damnation to me because he whined and complained the entire time the investigation was going on. Had he not done that and he was sort of cleared, um, I think it would have been received better, but it's not because now he's got his press secretary getting caught in double talk. She said this, then she said she didn't say it, but we've got it on tape that she said it. Um, the sitting attorney general is pretty blatant that he is doing everything he can to protect the president um, and to keep from implicating him in anything. And I think history is going to show, wow, this attorney general really um, was put in place to do the president's bidding. And that's what he's doing. And it looks really bad. And I don't know who's going to call him out on it. I feel like Congress is not really calling him out on it. There may be a couple of people who are saying, eh, yeah, you know, you really need to step back from your loyalty um, on an issue like this because this is a big, important issue and there are a lot of discrepancies in this issue. There's been a lot of lies and mistruths and double talk. And so you're, uh, the only thing you're doing is destroying your credibility as well by protecting someone who's not being genuine, forthright, and doing his due diligence. So that's where we are. Uh, the Mueller report is 400 some pages. No, I have not read it. I'm probably not going to read it. Um, I don't need that much detail. We, I got the gist, and I, I hope the American people got the gist as well. I'm, I'm sure most of you got the gist. The little bits and pieces that you got, that should have been good enough. Um, Congress should get the whole thing. The idea that Attorney General Barr decided to give them a four-page summary? No, not Congress. Congress has the highest level security clearance. There is nothing that they can't or shouldn't be able to see, and they should see the entire report, be able to read it, be able to dissect it, be able to act on it. If there are parts of it that need to be addressed and investigated, they should have full access. We as the American people, we don't have that kind of act. We don't have that kind of security clearance. Sure, if you need to redact some of it because there are ongoing investigations or there's sensitive material in there, fine. But not Congress, under no circumstances. So, let's just stay tuned. Let's see how the rest of this unfolds because my feeling is there will be an investigation into further details with regard to the Mueller report. Um, this is gonna be unfolding for likely the rest of his presidency. Um, and we'll, we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, I am still going to be tweeting S-G-T-A-T-A-R-M-S-U-S-A. -A -A, um, and hopefully you'll be tweeting as well. And until the next time, I will close this installation of the Sergeant at Arms. See you next time.